process about the certification maintenance it is for pd1 salesforce pd1 yesterday i got a one email like it is maintenance due so today we will do how to complete this salesforce certification maintenance okay and here in the email we will get an one maintenance module in the trial head and we have to complete it before 6th of december and as soon as i click on that link it will navigate to trial head see we have to go on through these all the steps especially for uh, i'm going to do it for uh, pd1 uh, so we have to verify the steps mentioned in the pd1 step okay let's uh, go to certification page go to our profile and there we can navigate to our maintenance page Here you can see I have two certifications due for uh, maintenance. Okay, now I'm going to do the PD1 first. Okay, if I click on the complete maintenance, it will navigate to uh, this page. Okay, and uh, here platform developer one maintenance winter 24. So we have two modules. One is for uh, let's see what is for i think it is multiple choice and uh, hands on okay let's complete first this one and we have to read all those things so we'll, it is easy to complete the uh, certification maintenance Okay, first one. Which SOQL query can be used to respect the object permissions of the running user for a query in Apex Core? Uh, user mode, system mode, in the insert as a user, insert as a system. I think with user mode. Next question. Where, where can an error message be displayed by adding the custom error message element to a flow? In a window on the record page as a inline error on a specific record either a or b neither a or b i think uh, any of the one let's see why are the lwc lwclc and the lwcls condition divert directives more efficient than the legacy if true and if else directives Property getters are accessible only once per instance of the directory. No property getters are accessible. The new directives are not more efficient. The property getters are, um, I think, first one. Which of the following can be used to irritate, iterate through list or sets in a for loop? Iterable string, iterable constant, iterable variable, index variable, iterable variable, I think so. Which Apex feature can be used to customize behavior of the list sort method? Mm, custom sort or comparator? Custom sort interface. I think comparator. Okay. Let's check the quiz. Yeah, now it is done. Let's navigate to next step. And I think it is related to playground uh, hands on experience. Get ready on the hands on challenge. Uh, two, three, three to four minutes it will take. We have to create a one playground. Okay. Then we have to create an Apex class with the query contact and uh, replace the query contact. I think we have to replace this query contact method. And uh, do not modify any code above the code line. I think we, we are not supposed to modify anything these lines. And implement the logic that it will bind where to retrieve the contacts ID. Okay. And we have to return the null. Mm, we have to first of all we have to create a trial uh, playground 
for that I am doing these three dots and create playground uh, it should be anything create it will take uh, two to three minutes um, update the get contact IDs method of the query contact class to locate the same contact that was selected in the get contact ID method let's see what is get contact method okay copy this code instead of this copy this one still it is loading and uh, we are getting your playground ready now my playground is ready let's click on this launch button once we click on launch button it will navigate to our playground Okay, uh, go to developer console. Create an on Apex class with the query contact name. Okay, and uh, let's copy this code. until this should be same we are not going to make any changes uh, this part since they already mentioned I am taking this query as well okay and uh, here we have to uh, make, make the query dynamically uh, with the binding variables let's make this uh, I'm taking string value string contacts uh, equal to let's paste the same thing And once we are pasted here, we I'm copying this from same as above. Uh, and uh, let's make dynamic query. I'm taking list value here and contact object. Contacts equal to database dot query query with binds and query and we have to get it uh, contacts I think I'm taking two as same variable, so I'm making it as query. And uh, here, query. And we have to get a bind where's and access level. Access level equal to user mode. Uh, I think uh, and 
we have to check the condition now the condition is if contacts not equal to null contacts not equal to null and uh, contacts not equal to empty is empty contacts not equal to null and contacts not contact is empty mm. if the if in this case we have to uh, return contacts dot id Okay, uh, I think this should be good. Missing the return statement type ID. Hmm. Okay, now it's resolved. Uh, let's remove this stuff. Okay, I think this is enough. So let's save it and uh, complete the challenge now it takes some time actually it is going in behind the, our playground it will check our code query yeah our platform maintenance is good now and thank you for watching. Please do like, subscribe our channel.